and John Fung used to like to say, when you were born, nobody hired you to be born. When you came to practice, no one's hiring you to practice. It's something you do of your own free will. And this is what the practice is all about, developing the will to do what's good. So you're not being forced, you're not being required. Someone once complained that we had no suggested donation, and we said, well, it's up to you. And they complained, well, can I have an idea? Well, no, it's totally up to you. And they were uncomfortable with that. But that's what total voluntary goodness is all about. It's just having a sense of what you really feel like doing, and what you feel that you can do, and then you're happy to do it. Being happy to do it is an important part. So it's good to think about the goodness you've done. When the Buddha taught his young son, he told him that before you do something, ask yourself, what do you think the results are going to be? And if you expect any harm, don't do it. If you don't expect harm, go ahead and do it. While you're doing it, check to see what the actual results are. And if you find that harm is happening, you stop. If you don't see any harm, you continue. And then when you're done, you reflect on the long-term results. And again, if you see that some harm was done, even though you didn't expect it, you go talk it over with someone who you respect on the path. Get some idea from that person how not to repeat that mistake. But if you say that you didn't do any harm, he said, take joy in that. I know some people who are uncomfortable with that idea. They feel that you shouldn't be proud of your goodness. But if you're not proud of your goodness, your, your, your badness has free reign. It can stomp all over you. But if you have a sense of, you've got something really valuable here and the good that you do, and when you're being generous, when you're abstaining from harm, when you're training the mind. That sustains you, because there are times when the results don't seem to be coming as quickly as you'd like. But if you have confidence that the results are there, and you've seen the results in the past, and the fact that you're generating goodness from inside, it teaches an important lesson. The goodness of the world comes from people generating inside themselves. So you're here, you have this opportunity. You've got a human birth. You've met up with the practice. You've met up with the Dharma. So take advantage of it. You do what goodness you feel you really do want to do. And as you do it, you get more and more inclined to want to do more. It's this way that goodness does get maintained in the world, not through forcing it, not through requiring it. But from people seeing within themselves, it really is a good thing to do what's, do what's right, to abstain from what's wrong. We are developing, we talk about mental training, but it's not, not just training the mind. The Pali word for mind, jitta, can also mean heart. We're training both the heart and the mind. And the heart is nurtured by generosity, virtue, goodwill. To try to develop these qualities as much as you can. They're good for you, and they really do feel good as well, both in the doing and in the results that come. Now for the blessing.